Hi guys, welcome back to Buttons and Buzz and today, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing a video that's slightly off topic, um, a little bit different to what I normally talk about and all my sort of rambles. So today I'm going to be talking about university and it's that time of year where everyone is getting all excited to either start university or go back for their second, third or seventh year if you do like architecture firstly well done to everyone that got in and is now able to go and do the degree that they really love and that they really want to spend their time and money on and you know guys this is something that's going to stay with you for the rest of your life so if you're going to do it be committed so but yeah well done I'm jealous as well that everyone's going back to uni this is I finished university in June, so this is the first September in 16 years that I haven't gone back into further education, so I've done what to do with myself. Um, yeah, so I'm going to start, I'm going to do it in three categories. So this sort of midterm now, sort of going into university and what to kind of expect, and then freshers week, sort of the do's and don'ts, and then sort of just general while you're at university, the things that maybe I would change if I went back to university. Okay, so so it's mid-September now, you're probably really excited. You're probably actually going to university this weekend. Hopefully this should be uploaded on a Wednesday, so this weekend you should be going to university. And oh my, I'm, so, I'm really, really jealous. And But literally, don't be nervous. Like, everyone, or 95% of the people that are going to university are in the exact same boat as you. You know, you might not be going with your best friend that you've known like, all your life. Again, 99% of the people won't be. You know, you might not even know anyone, or you might think you don't know anyone from your school or your college, because I thought that. I thought literally there might be two or three people that I might have seen before. Literally, everyone, <laughs> not everyone, but it's so weird like you recognize people and even people that you've never spoken to before in your life but you know that you went to the same college you'll be like hi 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 i know you and it's just it's so weird like everyone is so friendly again because everyone's in the same boat and everyone is all there for the same reason to have fun to learn and to enjoy, make these the best three years of your life so yeah so definitely don't be nervous um and yeah, so before you go, obviously get the basic stationery, that sort of stuff, like the folders, the books, the pens, like all that, the lovely coloured highlighters like I had, never used, but <laughs> yeah, um, don't get any textbooks yet or anything like that, because depending on your course, um, you might not need to get textbooks or, you know, make use of your library, I'll get onto that in a bit, but um, yeah, don't buy things like that yet, but just buy like, sort of writing pads and folders and things like that, but not your actual textbooks. Um, especially um because i bought some before i went and then it turned out to be the completely different wrong ones they hadn't up like um done the sort of current reading list so just don't bother with that like wait till you go to university and they will tell you what you need okay and then also before you go if you're going to be living away from your parents this is probably the first time you're going to be living away from your parents learn how to cook simple meals you know if your favorite meal in the world is cook a run maybe don't try that but literally you will get sick of cereal within like a week when ready meals so um try your best just to simple meals and you don't have to be creative or anything like that um but just try and maybe mix mix some bits up and even get a um oh, i should have brought it upstairs for me actually i had a um a sort of it was like a jokey present for my auntie she got me like this student cookbook which just had really basic meals and um things i knew how to cook anyway but it was it was just a nice little present it was always just something less nice to refer back to and um yeah something like that would be really good to go um to university with learn how to use a washing machine as well um because the thing is is if you've got enough clothes to last you from september to christmas when you go home um if you don't if you don't want to go back you know in term time you you would have to have clothes to last you from september to christmas and if you have got clothes to last you that long you won't have the space in your university room to put them in so you will need to learn to wash your clothes um trust me it's simple 
Um, you won't have the lux luxury of a dishwasher if you're in halls, so get some good fairy liquid. Um, so yeah, this time is really exciting. This is when you, you know you can buy all your bedding and um, all your home comforts and things are really going to be. Do take your home comforts with you. Take your photos, your cuddly toy. Take it all because um, the people that did. I found that the people that didn't do that, that sort of just sort of had a shell, I found that they were the people that didn't didn't really feel at home, obviously, because they don't have all their home comforts. If you've got a pillow that you love, take it with you. Simple as that. And it little things like that make all the difference, especially when you're having a down day and you're missing home and if you're ill. All those sort of things will just come in so handy. So, yeah, pack... Don't pack your whole life up. I did. I packed my whole life up and it was just a mistake. I couldn't move in my room. But, um, yeah. Take stuff from home. Like, it's... it's You don't... You know, you're not starting a complete fresh lot on a desert island. Like, take stuff to remind you of home. And that's perfectly fine. And then... So when you get to freshers week, um, depending on the university, you might have one week, you might have two weeks. <laughs> This will be the greatest week ever. Like, if you've been on boys and girls holidays, you can be like, oh yeah, that was the best week ever. No, no, no. Your first freshers week. You will... wish you won't forget. Like, but you're gonna forget it because you're gonna be so drunk, but it'll be worth it. Like, it's such a... It, freshers week is so, so good. So, um, just a couple of tips, like when you get to university, obviously, make friends, make as many friends as you can, talk to everyone. Uh, everyone says, oh, always leave your door doorstop to leave your door open. I never did that. But do talk to everyone. I mean, I was in a house as opposed to hall, so it was slightly different. But, um, yeah, really try and make an effort with everyone. Because even if you don't get on, I mean, you're going to find people that you don't get on with or that aren't interested or whatever. But trust me, there's going to be thousands of other people that you will meet. So don't worry about them. But just make the effort because you never know. Um, and I guess alongside that, um, you will have a society fair to go to, like sports and society fairs. Um, in my university, there, there were two sort of different days that did them. Go and join um, things that you're, that you're interested in. If you play a sport, go join the sports. If you, they, they literally they have everything there. They have magicians, they have pole dancing, oh sorry, pole fitness they called it in uh, my university. But um, yeah, like dominoes. They had a tea. They have all. Oh, they have languages, which is really good. If you don't actually want to do a language course, but you, um, like if you, your degree is in language, basically. you will have something in com common with. Um, yeah. So do things like that, and also you can make societies as well. I mean, it's not as easy as like clicking your fingers and doing it, but if there is enough demand for it, you can actually make societies in a lot of universities. So, um, yeah, definitely go do it. It's something that I sort of. I never thought I had the time for it and I really wish that I did do it. Um, I tried but just not, not that hard really and I kind of wish I did because you know you you go out on you have socials every week and um, depending on how involved you want to be, you, I have a lot of friends that were presidents and that were vice presidents and god knows of their societies and um, they really really enjoyed it and so if you, if you have a hobby go for it. You. You know, you won't get a better chance than at university. In Freshers' Week, you will have a library tour. or well, you should do if you have a library. I assume you will do. Anyway, go to it. I never went to mine, and I didn't know where my books were for my course at all, so I had to buy all of my textbooks. And um, I think I only ever got one book out of the library. Never read it. And, yeah... Use the library, it's apparently a really useful tool. And they have a lot of journals as well as actual textbooks. Um, so if you do a subject where you have to really um, quote people and sort of go through a lot of theories, then the library is going to be your best friend. It's a fact. Um, and also, along with that, go, with, go to your inductions for your course. Every course is different, and every course within different universities are different if that makes sense so you know your your housemate might have a, an essay based um, course so they might only have to pick and choose 
a few of their subjects because they know what they're going to be doing their essays on and so they don't have to go to every every lecture however like mine um i had to do an exam or multiple exams sort of every six weeks and i had to know everything that they taught me i had to know because it could come up could come up in an exam and yeah so i think essays were about 10 percent of my course so um go and make sure that you know what your course expects from you and just the structure of it if you don't learn anything even if you don't know your lecture's name that's perfectly fine just know the structure and know how to contact someone if you ever need help with anything the other that's main thing to think about when you're at fresh in freshers week is the fact that you will get ill you will get freshers flu uh this is just because there are thousands of people from all over the world basically coming together and it's a week of you know it's your first again probably your first week away from your parents and you're not going to be eating the right food you're going to be drinking a lot of alcohol and you're not going to be probably taking in the right vitamins and things like that so you are going to get ill and the doctors won't do anything for you they won't give you anything because they're just going to say that it's going to go away in a week or so so um if you get ill like me so for all you hypochondriacs out there take those a paracetamol with because, you because um i get tonsillitis a lot like all the time and i got tonsillitis that they said was fresh as flu so they wouldn't give me any medication for it I still had freshers flu, I think it was two, three weeks later, when I had actually had my 19th birthday. So I then had to pay for the prescription that I asked for three weeks beforehand that I would have got for free. But because they thought it was freshers flu, I then had to pay seven, eight pounds, whatever it is for a prescription nowadays. <laughs> if your birthday's out on freshers week and you know you get ill quite easily, Take a lot of tablets. Not don't take them and then take with you to uni. Paracetamol and all that sort of stuff so you can and flu bits and bobs so you know that you are well prepared for the illness that you are going to get. Also on your very, very first night, don't get paralytic. You know, you're with people that you have literally just met like a few hours ago. You're in an area that you've probably never been to before. And um, so just be wary. Sorry, I know I sound like mum right now, but just be, just be wary and don't spend all your money in the first week or month. Like you, if you're going to be living on your maintenance loan, how would you get? Yeah, you'd get your maintenance. Like if you get them on time, that is, you could get your first instalment in September. Yeah, I think it's the yeah it's the day that you start your course on. It's meant to, I think. I can't remember. But yeah, so the first day you start your course on, so the last week of September. The next time you get a maintenance loan will be in January. So you're going to get a couple of grand put into your account for your rent and things like that. And don't spend it all at once because that has to pay your rent and that has to keep you to your next payment in January. So it's, it's a long time. Um, be wary that you've got Christmas, you've got New Year, everything like that. If you've got friends' birthdays and stuff, it all comes out of that. So, um, unless you have a job and all that sort of stuff. But if you think that you're going to be dependent on that maintenance loan for your rent and everything like that, learn to budget and really try and think about it. Because the more you budget, the better time you'll have for a longer time. Something along those lines, anyway. You know what I'm trying to say, like. Don't just squander it because you're going to be there in the big, in, you know, come Halloween and you, you're drinking water. Then, sort of this is just general university tips for people that go in. Um, go to your first year, like, I believe in all course, yeah, I think probably about 95% of courses, your first year doesn't actually count towards your degree. Um, it's basically like a bumper session so that you can get up to date and they can build the foundations and um, a lot of courses do build upon your first year and sort of go over and all that sort of stuff. Mine doesn't. My, well, mine didn't at all. Mine, when you're taught it, you're taught it. You're meant to know it for the whole three years or if you go on to do masters or whatever, you're meant to know that. 
because they've taught it to you. Um, so yeah, again, this sort of goes back to the fact that if you go to your inductions um, in Freshers' Week because you will know this stuff, you will know if you have you. They'll kind of tell you by the format of your course of where of how often you have to go to things because of how how it's examined and how um, you, you'll know the format of what you have to know. So, um, and that's that's all it is really. University, it's okay. It's harder than that, but it's you know learn to play the game. If you know you have to know everything on your course, then know everything on your course. Don't think you can cheat the system um, unless you're really really clever, because you know that it's made a certain way. So you have to, you have to play by the rules of the game. Really, that's kind of how education, in my opinion, works. So. Um, yeah, that's just a tip. Don't pick and choose your modules. If uh, don't pick and choose your um, classes and subjects that you want to learn, because if you know that you're going to be examined on all of them. Common sense, but um, notes. I would say to print out notes and sort of annotate them and make abbreviations so that you can, you know, note take really quickly. But obviously, remember the abbreviations when you go back in even a year's time and look at your notes. You want to be able to know what you're talking about. Um, and I guess also be organised don't think that you can cram three years worth of uni work into six weeks or even a week like it's just not going to happen so be realistic about your about your learning just in general you know especially nowadays I think are they like nine grand a year to go to university plus any other loans that you want to take out so it's it's so expensive so make the most of it and have fun but really work hard play the game but you know it's such a balancing act and a lot of people do struggle with it myself included um yeah really you know the first year basically is to get you up to speed with the course but it's also to know whether you can actually do it whether you can get that balance of being away from home being able to balance friends studying boyfriend girlfriend you know work like part-time work whatever it is you know even if you've got children stuff like that like that's what that first year is for it's but your first year is your life experience and then it goes on from there really god that was deep just be a student love it like experience tempe noodles experience them take photos have a good time like if you're gonna go out go out make the most of your cheap drinks make the most of being away from home and especially in your first year if you live in halls make the most of not having to pay bills you know this is an experience that a lot of people do get to have nowadays well when i went to university you know a lot of people went to university the same year as me and you really when i think back it is it's such a good experience. I'm so glad I went, and because it's not just the degree and the education that comes out of it, it's it's, it's a lot. It's such a, a learning curve, and yeah, I think it's what you make of it. So yeah, good luck for everyone going to university. Yeah, just have a ball. Bye.